Iron Sharpens Iron, a testimony by Patty Kirk. Proverbs twenty-seven seventeen, As iron sharpens iron, so a friend sharpens a friend. My friend Susan and I went out for coffee one day and sat in my car discussing our struggles, as we typically do when we're together. Mine was that my daughter and son-in-law, who'd been living with my husband and me for months, had suggested they might live with us several more months. I was desperate for my solitude and routine. I keep wondering what God is trying to teach me through this, I whined piously. Susan, though usually mild-mannered and supportive, was suddenly critical. God's not trying to teach you anything, she said sternly. If you say that, you're saying God makes bad things happen in our lives to teach us lessons. People are always saying stuff like that, but they're wrong. God's not like that. She stared down at her coffee. When she looked up, her lashes were wet, and I guessed she was thinking about the death of her son. Samuel, some years ago. I felt bad. Susan was right. God had caused neither Susan's loss nor my petty struggles. My words belied impious attitudes about this life's sorrows and about God that I didn't even realize I had. Ever kind-hearted and forgiving, as only the best friends are, Susan immediately smoothed over my embarrassment and the pain I had caused her. You just need to say it differently, she counseled. Say, what does God want me to learn from this? I love how God, in his ever-redemptive spirit, uses all the goodness of his creation, companionship, the diversity and complexities of language, our children, the fruits of coffee trees, to redeem our worst errors and make us more like him. Father, Use my friends, my family, and my many other blessings to make me more like you. Touch my
my lips with hope.